good morning everybody as you can see we've already finished the morning chores and we are heading off to work oh smoke's bad again Town. oh well hopefully by the time you guys see this video I'll have figured out what's going on but I tried to re-release a video today um, from back in the day of hiking be kind of cool, you know. For some reason, it didn't re release. So I think I have to take it off of my YouTube. Well, share it from my YouTube back to my editing software, then try to re release it that way. So hopefully, uh, by again, by the time you see this, I'll figure out if I can, how to do make that work. And then uh, maybe be able to do that. Yeah, smoke's really bad. So it was the other day I showed you guys. But uh, so I'm actually not even sure if I'm going to be filming today. If you see it, I guess I, I decided to. It's just, I don't know, it's, I don't want to bore the heck out of you guys. It's, I mean, I'm just living my best life, you know. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying living in the van. Um. Not enjoying going to work every day. That's not a bad job. Uh, busy, but uh, I'm I am so much happier now though than I was when I was living in an, an apartment or sticks and bricks, going to work every day. I, I much rather like the much rather do this. Man, so many vans up there I want. They're all extended 4x4s. Four four Some outfitter for a place. Um, but hey, yeah, we're going to work. We got. I woke up at 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, and got out the Nashville Hot Chicken Tenders and was eating those. It was pretty funny. I was hungry. That was like 5 o'clock. I'm like, I'm not going to eat for like... Almost four hours. I think, what the heck? I'm gonna eat some tenders, just some chunks. You know, I had like two or three little chunks. Oh, it did the trick. Sorry, there. I had to cut out a piece of video. The woman just ran across the street. Not in a crosswalk or anything. Just ran across the street. Entitlement. We're just supposed to stop because you want to run across the street. Because you don't want to go to a crosswalk. I don't know. Oh, we'll see what happens today. Uh, now, last last night, a few rigs pulled in, but it was relatively empty. I was really surprised. That, well, it was Saturday night, though, the other night. Tonight was Sunday. Last night was Sunday night. Yeah, most people are, you know, most people may have been heading home from a vacation. I don't know. But we will have another uh, long day at work, and then uh, one more to go after today. And we get two days off, of course. What are we doing? Probably chores, auto repair. Uh, this Thursday we're getting the shocks and the ball joint done. Brakes are holding out fine after what we did. So I'm going to wait on that for a little while. Might as well burn up these pads. I mean, I paid 200 bucks for them. So uh, that was oil change. Uh, inspection. But, all right. Well, I guess. I don't know. I'll talk to you guys probably after work. Well, good evening, folks. Another long day. It never stops. People want their meds. Well, I had
had to make an appointment to go get fingerprinted now for my other day off. So yeah, we don't have days off this week. I mean, I'm off work, but we got stuff to do for work and for the car. Man, it really pissed me off that those videos didn't come out, well, for you, a week ago. Well, like I said, I think I know what I have to do. I think I have to redo them. Like, resave them as videos and resend them out. Which is going to... Really, it's hard. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And I don't understand why I can't just reschedule it and it comes back out. I ate like three meals today. I had breakfast, and then I ate something at, you know, after two hours of working, and I ate lunch. A little bloated, if you know what I mean. Full. But we definitely ain't eating no dinner. Nice evening. I think tonight is only going to get down to 55 in town. So we may have to take the chill off. I think this morning I woke up at 5. And yeah, and that's why I ate the chicken tenders. That's why I kicked the air conditioner or the heater on. So head back to camp. Which hopefully it shouldn't be that busy tonight. It's a weeknight. Of course, I don't know, all those, that festival probably ended yesterday or, did, or they left today, so they, they in this place might be jacked, jacked up again. Who knows? We'll see when we get there. I'd really like to do that, you know, like once a week re revisit one of those old nice, really good hiking videos for you guys. Um, figure out how to do that tonight, maybe. But yeah, yeah, I have to get fingerprinted for my background check for my certification. So now I gotta go to that on Wednesday. And then Thursday all day is uh, car repair. So we'll probably have to do the laundry on Wednesday as well. So, yeehaw, I really want to do something fun one day. <laughs> Not that it was. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I thought I just saw a van lifer I knew, and I was, you know, trying to get a hold of him. Uh, it sure looked like everything about his rig, except I didn't think he had that vent right there. But it looked like him, looked like his roof rack and everything. Oh, I'll have to text him, see if that was him. All right, well, we're heading back to camp, see what we get when we get there. It is what it is, you know what I mean? Another day in the boring life of van life, which, again, guys, I'm living my best life. I'm, I like this. So much more comfortable. So much nicer. So easy. Again, you don't like your neighbors? You just move. Trust me, I've had a lot of neighbors who I could not stand. Just have this guy in Cincinnati. The house I owned, he, he, he was across the street from. Kind of but like one over. I'd be out working in my yard, you know, doing the lawn. I'd come in there, he's standing in my garage. And my garage went underneath the house. And he'd be like, just in a pair of bathing suit, beer gut hanging out, no shirt on, smoking cigarettes in my garage, just standing there looking around. I'm like, dude, what are you doing in my garage? Oh, just looking around. 
uh, yeah, this isn't your house. Get the heck out of it. All the time. I'd be out in the backyard. All of a sudden, he'd just come through the back gate. What are you doing? Up, oh, look at her. Get out of my house, out of my yard. It was weird, you know. Yeah. Some people, no boundaries, you know. All right, let's uh, let's head back camp. See what we can find. Yep, yeah, this is my fear. They, uh, there's quite a few more people in here today. I had a feeling if people were coming back from that festival, it's. Well, I think I can get the one I had last night, though. This uh, sprinter van thing. Yeah, there's a bunch of these guys were here before the festival. Here's that abandoned car. I don't know if we're going to stay here or not. I'll let you guys know. Well, my theory was right. All those folk left that fast festival and they're heading back in whatever direction they got to get home. And a lot of them stopped here. And more are pulling in. As I've been sitting while well, I've been setting up, and most of them look like they're just getting here themselves, just setting up. So I don't know what when they all decided to leave, but um, check out what time it was probably three o'clock. Uh, normally it's like noon though, but anyways, yeah, people are pulling in. This place is gonna be real packed tonight. Hopefully, as long as I can get out to go to work tomorrow. Uh, nobody should be able to pull in front of me or right behind me, so I should be at no no issues. But yeah, that's, that's the thing. When I, you know, I get out of work, the later I get out of work, the harder it is to find somewhere to camp. Um, since I pulled in, I know of at least six six rigs have pulled in. Um, one just did as a uh, right as I was starting this video, but that's all right. Um, as long as I'm facing the woods, I mean, I kind of feel funky with these people's back doors are looking right at me, but wish you ever dumped this car here. I hadn't done that. That's a, that's like my favorite spot to try to get to. And it's just a abandoned car sitting there. But one more day at work, then two days of chores. Wednesday, hopefully, we can still do something. Fingerprinting shouldn't take me all but an hour. You know, between driving there, doing it, and then going to somewhere else. So I might try to do laundry. If I get up early enough, do laundry beforehand. Um, I don't know. I uh, kind of like to lay in for a while Wednesday. Yeah, I'm going to, because Thursday, i got to get up kind of early to get to my auto appointment. I want to be able at least just to lay in bed and not have to get up. I mean, I'm a, I'll be awake, but, you know, maybe go through my comments a little better and hook up some stuff. You know, as soon as I get done with you guys, I edit the video. By then, it's basically time to go to bed. Not a lot of time to do stuff. So I made, I had, I had to go sit down in our uh, extra room that we have today to, schedule that appointment i mean it took me uh, about 45 minutes between you have to register and the for the fingerprinting then you have to find a place and then you have so appointment you know just everything takes a lot more time but i don't know we'll see i am tired though Hopefully, so it goes down quick because I mean, it don't matter. I can go to bed, but we got to cool the van off. I think it's like 81, 82 degrees in there right now. Way too hot to go to bed. And I don't like these tires for winter at all. These things ain't going to do diddly on the snow or ice. 
we're gonna have to get something. Um, I don't like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna go with studs. Oh, bug flew right in my eye. Um, but yeah, I'm not, the, these things ain't gonna do nothing. Another expense we're gonna have to do. I really don't want to get studded tires and then have to store these thinking about just getting some good tires and getting rid of these. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Somebody driving a one wheel down there. I think one of those would be pretty cool to have a one wheel. I don't know how good I'd be on one though. And I kind of take up a lot of space. I'm watching that kid. I don't know how if how good I'd be. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and relax. Get this video edited. I gotta figure out how to uh, re-upload a video. I really don't want to have to save it to my my editing and rerun it all. But that's what we have to do. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching, commenting, sharing, liking, subscribing. It helps the channel, and I appreciate it. Like I said, I'm tired. I really am. You guys have a great morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll see you tomorrow on Jelly Bean Outdoors.